Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hiller Softball at Hopkinton High School as today they welcome in the Medfield Warriors, and we are ready for action. Heather Holly on the mound for the Hillers, Tom Nappy and Larry Sacklad on the call as the first pitch is ball one, and that will make it a 1-0 and count on the leadoff hitter, Katie Zona, who is the center fielder. Heather Holly set to deliver. She has pitched wonderfully so far this season for the Hillers. The count now one and one. Hopkinton, 10 wins, one loss on the season. And the Medfield Warriors having a pretty good year as well. They are seven and five as there is strike two. That's three times she's tried to show bunt, bring the corners in. And she is set to deal once again to the center fielder. Swinging strike and there's out number one. One hitter, one strikeout. Let's take a look at the Medfield Warriors batting order. That was Katie Zona who just struck out. Now coming to the plate is the pitcher, Alana Potts. Batting third is the first baseman, Rachel Cornett. The designated player in the cleanup role is Liz Cousins. The catcher batting fifth is Catherine Corzulis as there is strike one to Alana Potts. Batting sixth, the second baseman, Eliza Semino. Batting seventh, the left fielder, Allie Carlin. That one just low. Ariana Tristani is the right fielder batting eighth. Molly Glasheen, the third baseman, batting ninth. And the odd man out is Mary Cronin, who is the shortstop for the Medfield Warriors. That one's fouled away. Wouldn't that be the uh, odd woman out, Tom? That's very true, Larry, very true. Take a look at the Hiller's Diamond. Heather Holly on the mound. And she has pitched great this season. We'll get you the stats in just a moment. Jillian Cedia is her battery mate behind home plate. As there is a ball there to make the count two and two. At first base, Madison Abbott. Over at second base, Julia DiBenedetto. Shortstop is Molly Bennett. Third base is Emma Murphy. And there's strike three. Out number two in the first inning. From left to right, Lindsey Whittles, Katie Hawley, and Lily Rancatori for the Hopkinton Hillers. And Lily Morningstar has been out since the Milford game injured as we had that game for you on HCAM as Rachel Cornett takes a strike. She had a collision with the fence trying to field a ball which ended up out of the ballpark for a home run. But I have been told by members of the coaching staff that she is healing nicely and she should be back available for the Hillers softball team very soon. As Holly deals, that one's fouled away, one and two to Rachel Cornett, the first baseman. Heather's a uh, strike machine today. I think Medfield's gonna have to really scratch one out. And she is certainly uh, working quickly. Here's another strike there, and that is going to do it for the top of the first. Heather Holly strikes out the side, and we will head to the bottom of the first. The Hopkinton Hillers coming to the plate next on HCAM. Bottom of the first inning, the Hopkinton Hillers coming to the plate for the first time this afternoon as they will face sophomore pitcher Allison Potts. And we will take a, excuse me, a lot of Potts and we will take a look at the Hillers batting order in just a moment as Potts is set to deliver and it is Going to be up the middle, the throw over to first, and there's out number one. One to three goes Katie Hawley, the center fielder. Coming up now to the plate is the second baseman, Julia DiBenedetto. Batting third is the shortstop, Molly Bennett. The pitcher is in the cleanup role, Heather Hawley. Batting fifth is the left fielder, Lindsey Whittles. Batting sixth is the third baseman, Emma Murphy, the windup and the pitch, and that one is in there for a strike. The catcher, Julian Cedia, batting seventh. Emma Liberta, the designated player, hitting eighth. Maddie Abbott, the first baseman, batting ninth. And Lily Rancatori, the odd man out of the batting order, playing right field. As there's a swinging strike there, 0-2 oh on Di Benedetto, the second baseman. Interesting how they're positioning on the infield. They're playing deep compared to Katie Hawley, where they were in. And there's a ball there, one and two. Pitcher Alana Potts, a sophomore, a 166 ERA on the season. Six wins, three losses. Has thrown 59 innings, so some good experience for the sophomore as this one has hit foul out of play. Count remains one and two. Potts 
Lotz awaits the sign and is set to deal. Breaking pitch up high. That was a good take by Julia. They have the advantage of knowing their home field, so any balls that get overthrown, they know what they can do as far as running. That's the uh, home field advantage. The freshman takes ball three there. Julia D. Benedetto having a great season so far at the plate. 30 at bats, a 500 batting average, 15 for 30. Has scored six runs, driven in nine. That one's fouled away. Cow remains full. Hillers as a team hitting a 335 so far this season. Offense has certainly been one of the keys to their success. That one's fouled away into the backstop. A good battle here between Potts and Benedetto. Potts delivers. Down low, and Di Benedetto wins the battle. She gets the free pass to first. That was a nice at bat by Julia. Made the pitcher work. And now the senior Molly Bennett will step in. She's at shortstop today at 294 on the season. 10 for 34 overall, 13 runs scored, eight driven in. There's a strike. Nice afternoon here for Hiller's softball. Cloudy skies, the sun peeking out a little bit. Temperatures in the low to mid 60s. As she will pop this one into left field, it is going to be caught for out number two. No advancement by the runner on first. As Ali over in left field, Ali Carlin will make the catch and quickly get the ball in. Now we'll see the cleanup hitter, Heather Hawley. She's way up in the box, Tom. That one low, runner taking off from first, throw to second, not in time, a stolen base for Di Benedetto, showing off the speed there. She went to the outfield side to second base, and that was the difference. Heather Hawley has had uh, some pretty good performances at the plate so far this season, a 237 batting average overall but has driven in 18 runs, that one low, and Di Benedetto taking off from second and will get safely to third on the wild pitch. And count is now two and oh. Heather Hawley has also scored five runs this season as she hits this one foul over us on the first base side. And unfortunately, uh, our cameraman, uh, typically for these games, Bob Hamilton, was unable to join us. So I'm multitasking here today, Larry. You absolutely are. Anything that gets past the catcher, if it rattles around, De Benedetto will score. But if it's straight back. As this is hit right to the second baseman and caught for the third and final out of the bottom of the first. To the second inning we go. It is a scoreless game between Hopkinton and Medfield. Top half of the second inning. Medfield coming back up to the plate. Due up are their four, five, and six hitters. A scoreless game between the Hillers and Medfield to start off this top half of the second inning. That one is just in there outside, 1-0. and oh. Liz Cousins, the designated player at bat followed by Catherine Corzillis, the catcher. That one is just high, 2-0. And, oh. and then second baseman, Liza Samino, is due up third in this inning for the Warriors. Heather made quick work of the midfield. First three hitters in the first inning. Yeah, struck out the side to start things off. Medfield hitting 243 as a team. That one is just low. 
31. Holly will have to battle back on the cleanup hitter. There's a strike, count out full. Elizabeth Cousins, a 303 batting average on the season. On the ground, third base side, foul. Count remains oh. full. Ball went off her foot. 10 for 33 overall at the plate. Seven runs scored, nine batted in. A couple doubles for the cleanup hitter. A 303 average is third on the team as she puts this one up the middle, fielded at short, throw to first, is in time. A good throw across the diamond by Molly Bennett. Six to three goes Liz Cousins, one away. Now we'll bring up Catherine Corzillis, the catcher. No instant replay on that last play. I might have come to a different conclusion, but since I'm a homer, that's a 6-3 out. As this is hit in the air, and that is to Molly Bennett once again for the second out. Right to her glove, and she is keeping busy this inning to say the least. Two away, and that'll bring up Elisa Savino, the second baseman. There's a strike, 0-1. Holly set the deal, hit in the air to right field, and that's going to drop for a hit just in front of Lily Rancatori, and that is going to be a single, a two-out single for the Warriors. She had a late swing on that, but put it out in right field just perfect. Allie Carlin, the left fielder, steps in, takes ball one there. Hillers have already clinched a tournament spot, 10 and one on the season. It's been a busy couple of weeks for the Hillers with all the rainouts. That one's fouled away out of play. That one loss was a non-TVL game against Milford. Yeah, and that's been the uh, only softball game we've had for you so far on HCAM. So we're certainly going to be getting some more softball on for you. That one inside. Certainly the baseball team having a great season as well. Should be very fun watching both these teams going down the stretch. As this is hit f in the air to left field, that drops fair, and that is going to get by Lindsay Whittle's lead runner being waved home. It's 1-0 Medfield, and now Allie Carlin over to third base, and she is going to be saved. That ball rolled all the way into the corner, and that is an RBI base hit for Allie Carlin, who ends up at third. And We'll give her the triple on that one, but a great piece of hitting there. And that'll bring up Ariana Tristani, the right fielder. And there's a strike. 0 oh, and 1. So, how about that? Medfield striking first. Trying to use in the foul lines to do it. Yeah, trying to make a statement here in Hopkinton. That one's fouled away into the backstop. 0 oh, and 2 on the right fielder. She'll go over and talk to her coach briefly. Midfield is led by head coach, Travis Taliaferro. He's actually one of the organizers of TVL softball. Of course, the Hopkinton Hillers led by first year head coach, Scott Soderberg, who's very familiar with this Hillers softball program, was an assistant coach for a few years and now back as the head coach. Julian Cedia trying to frame that pitch and show it for the umpire for a strike, but didn't get the call. And when fouled away is Tristani stays alive, one and two. The umpire will generally not call a strike if they see them pull the ball in, but she's stuck it on that pitch. Up the middle, right to Holly. Throw to first, not a problem. One to three goes Tristani, but not before. The Medfield Warriors plate a run. It's one nothing Medfield as we head to the bottom. Bottom of the second inning. Medfield leading the Hillers one to nothing. Due up for Hopkinton, five, six, and seven. Lindsey Whittles, Emma Murphy, Jillian Cedia, the catcher to face Alana Potts for her second inning of work. Lindsay is being played in by the midfield infield. I don't know whether they suspect bunt or not. 
Takes strike one there. Now they've backed up. Whittle's at a 200 batting average so far this season. Has scored eight runs and driven in one. A stoppage there. Pot's set to deal. That one just outside, one and one to the lefty. Does that home plate umpire, Tom, have anything under his shirt, or is he strictly working with gut protection? Oh, no, there's uh, some padding under there. That one's fouled away, one and two. You do not want to get hit by uh, one of these softballs behind that home plate. That's for sure. There's strike three. Whittles goes down swinging, went away. We'll bring up Emma Murphy, the third baseman. The junior is hitting a 200 on the season. Her sister could be visiting with her next year when she's a senior. Young Lulu. Righty will take ball one. Line up on the pitch, and this is driven into right field. That's going to get down there for a base hit and roll all the way into the corner. Around first is Emma Murphy, and she will be safe at second with the stand-up double. And that will bring up Jillian Cedia, the catcher. A good piece of hitting there, utilizing the foul lines. What's well, good for the goose is good for the gander. So we'll see if Jillian can plate Emma Murphy. She'll foul this one away, 0-1. Jillian Cedia is a freshman, hitting a whopping 435 on this season. 10 for 23 overall at the plate. He's played in 11 game, all 11 games this season. Has scored three runs and will drive this one into right field. And she's gonna drive in maybe run number four. And yes, it will be a Hiller's run. And it's a tie ball game, an RBI single for the catcher, Jillian Zedia. One to one. And that will bring up Emma Liberta, the designated player. Good pinch runner for Jillian Cedia. Yeah, unlimited pinch runners here in softball. And Katie Sylvester will come in a pinch run. And Jillian Cedia is told by uh, the coaching staff really on the uprise and she is rock solid behind home plate as the catcher. Developing into a great asset for this Hillers team. Liberta swings at strike one. Emma Liberta Jr. Two for four at the plate. They're hoping to get her some more experience at the plate. They see some potential in her. That's a bunt that is going to be foul. 0-2. Sylvester will head back to first, the pinch runner for Cedia. Sylvester's using the, the sprinter's lead. Feet towards second base as if she were going to sprint out of the blocks. Potts delivers, fouled away behind the backstop. Count remains 0-2. Fouled away. One out, one in, one on for the Hillers. A one to one game between Hopkinton and Medfield. Hillers right now at the top of the TVL. And this is a drive over to the third base side. It's popped up and caught by the third baseman and a throw over to first by Glasheen, but the runner back safely. Good heads up baseball there by the third baseman. Two away. A nice base running by the uh, 
Hopkin and Hilla play to dive in. Yep. And they rely on Katie Sylvester a lot to handle the pinch running duties. Not only is she a fast base runner, but a smart one as well. Over to the third base side, throw to second to get the lead runner, and they will. So a 5 do 6 4 out to wrap up the bottom of the second, but the Hillers do tie things up. It is one to one as we head to the third. Top half of the third inning, a one to one game as the midfield Warriors come back up to the plate. Do up is 9 1 and 2. Molly Glasheen, Katie Zona, and Alana Potts for the Warriors. As Heather Holly hoping for some better luck out there this inning. That one outside, 1 0. Hillers responded after Medfield scored a run in the top of the second. Hillers played it a run in the bottom. CDO was questioning that last pitch with the home plate umpire. She wasn't, he wasn't buying what she was selling. That one is just upstairs, two and one. And speaking of Jillian Cedia, she drove in the Hillers run in the bottom of the second. Drove in Emma Murphy after Murphy hit a double. That one's fouled away into the backstop. That'll even up the count at two and two. Set to deliver. And that's just outside. And that'll be the walk. So Glasheen draws the walk, and that'll bring up Katie Zona. She struck out her first time up, I think. Yep. That was a one, two, three, uh, top of the first. Here's a bunt here, throw over to first. Nice defensive play by Holly. And Holly is 100% confident throwing that ball over to first base, as she should be. The runner does advance to second. Glasheen over to second. One away, Alana Potts, the pitcher, to the plate. So Zona did serve her purpose there. And this is a slow roller up the middle, throw to first, and that is in time. Lead runner advances to third. And that one ended up being a five to three, I believe. That is two away. That was a close play there. But fortunately for the Hillers, they were able to get to it in time. And now Rachel Cornett, the first baseman, will come up to the plate. And I'd imagine she'll have the green light here to swing away. That one just outside, 1-0. and oh. Nice play by Emma Murphy, charging the ball and throwing over to first base. Just a little bit to spare. And this is hit right to Murphy, who will make the catch. And that is out number three. We will head to the bottom of the third. Medfield and Hopkinton tied up at one apiece. Bottom of the third inning, top of the order for the Hillers. Katie Holly, Julia DiBenedetto, and Molly Bennett. A one-to-one -one game as the Hillers looking to strike here. Top of the order has been the most potent for the Hillers. The Hillers have the speed at the top of the order. I certainly do. That one just outside, 1-0. Oh. She's way up in the box, almost touching chalk. Katie Hawley, a sophomore, will take ball two there. 4.55 on the season for the sophomore. 15 for 33 at the plate. 11 runs scored, 13 driven in, four doubles as well for the speedy center fielder. She'll take a ball three there. She's perfectly made to be a slash bunner, a lefty hitter. She slashes that ball down the third baseline. She's three steps up the line. And with her speed, she could probably beat out most anything hit to the left side of the infield. 
Pot steals. Now I'm going to grab the outside corner. Three and one. I think the take sign was on all the way there, Tom. Line up in the pitch. Up the middle it goes. Gloved by the shortstop. A nice defensive play. Throw to first in time. A good play by Mary Cronin. And six to three goes Holly. That ball was hit hard, but she made it very close with her speed. It'll bring up Julia Di Benedetto, the second baseman. It's been an interesting pitching situation for Medfield. They experimented with a couple of pitchers and then ended up being Potts who earned the starting role as that one's fouled away, 0-1. But Medfield has found some solidarity in the pitcher circle. Seven and five on the season. Hiller's already clinching a tournament spot at 10 and one on the season. Of course, 10 and in. The field expecting to. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike, 0 and 2. Julia's been playing club ball in the summer for just about forever. She walked her last time up and stole a base. And this one is fouled away. 0-2 remains the count. Thought I was going to have to sacrifice the camera for you there, Larry. Yeah, that's all right. I got a hard head. <laughs> Line up in the pitch. That one upstairs. Breaking pitch at, did not break quite the way Potts wanted it. One and two. Infield playing very deep on Julia De Benedetto. She deals just outside, two and two. Showing good patience at the plate. Yeah, there's been a few good battles from these Hillers hitters. Medfield plays any deeper, they'll be on the grass. Set to deliver, just outside. It'll fill up the count. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad on the call for Hopkinton Hiller softball on H cam. For those of you just joining us, we're in the bottom of the third, a 1-1 game between Medfield and Hopkinton. As this one is hit in the air, foul out of play. I'm not gonna say anything to the Medfield players, but the center fielder is playing uh, very, very close. All Julia needs to do is pop a ball up over the center fielder and she can Probably run for three bags. This one is up the middle glove by the second baseman. Throw to first in time. Four to three goes Di Benedetto. Two away. Now get that one on the screws. Now Molly Bennett will uh, come up to the plate. Yeah, they're making these uh, Medfield Warriors infielders work, that's for sure. But so far, Medfield holding their own. There's a swinging strike. Sort of tied her up with that pitch. She deals. There's another strike. Do we have K-Zone at uh, H cam? Not quite, not quite. We haven't, we haven't, uh, got that service yet. We're hoping in the near future. That one just outside, one and two. The K zone is pretty much our eyes, Larry. Well, my eye said that second pitch was a ball. Fair enough. And there's strike three. She's gonna run down to first, but the throw will be good. And that will be out number three in the bottom of inning number three. So we will head to the top of the fourth. It is a one-one game between Medfield and Hopkinton. Top half of the fourth inning, a 1-1 game between Medfield and Hopkinton. A good battle we got going on here at the Hillers softball field six at Hopkinton High School. Liz Cousins, the designated player, steps in. She grounded out her last time up and she will take strike one there.
Heather Holly deals. That one just low, one and one. Big contrast between Heather Holly and the midfield pitcher. Heather Holly, a power pitcher. And the midfield pitcher, more finesse. That one is ball two. Heather Holly has had a very nice season on the mound. Eight wins, one loss, a 156 ERA, 10 appearances, 10 games started. That one is just outside, three and one. 63 innings pitched. And then she's only walked five hitters coming into this game. She did add on to that total once today. And she will add on to it once again here as Liz Cousins walks. And now Catherine Corzillis, the catcher, will come up to the plate. Holly has given up 20 runs this season, 14 of which were earned, and has 78 strikeouts. As that is ball one. There's a back pick. Runner back to first. And Heather Holly has continued the tradition of solid pitching for the Hiller softball program, picking right up where Juliet Hume and Bree Mirabli left off over the last couple of seasons. A bunter slow roller over to first, and they get one. Lead runner to second. The right fielder was heads up on that play, backing it up all the way. So if the ball scooted by, she was right there to pick it up, and there would probably be no advance. I like that kind of hustle. Eliza Samino, second baseman, stepping in. She hit a single and scored a run her last time up in the second. We'll have a pause here by the Medfield coaching staff as they're talking things over with the umpire. Holly deals. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Sun popping out more and more. As this is hit in the air over to left center, that's gonna drop down. Lead runner being waved around third, and it's 2-1 Medfield. An RBI double for Eliza Sumino, the second baseman. Liz Cousins scores, and Medfield once again back on top. Well, she certainly split the gap on that one, Tom. Allie Carlin steps in, and that one is outside, 1-0. That was two off the bat. Yeah, good piece of hitting there, and Medfield finding some offensive momentum. That one down low. Line up in the pitch. There's a strike. I think Holly having a little bit of trouble finding the strike zone today. Runner at second is getting a bit, bit more generous of a lead. Not expecting uh, Julian to throw down. Another ball there, that's three and one. Well, the Warriors, they've lost their last two games. They lost three nothing to Norton back on the eighth, two nothing to Holliston back on the ninth. And this is actually their third game in a row. They are looking for some revenge here. Three and two on the left fielder, Allie Carlin. Before that, they won four straight. And actually, Med Medfield plays tomorrow as well. As that one is going to be ball four, and Holly continuing to struggle. Two on now. Well, the force is on. It'll bring up Ariana Tristani, the right fielder. Here's a strike. Sun right in the right fielder's eyes. Yeah, outfield is definitely a difficult position to play sometimes here on the Hillary softball diamond. Glares right out there. Again, CD trying to steal a pitch, but the umpire isn't buying. One and one, two on, one out for Medfield. Swinging strike there, one and two. No need to sell on that one. We'll see if Holly can battle back here. Two one lead now for the Warriors. That one's fouled away. Count remains one and two.
Tristani steps back in. Air strike three. That was a beautiful changeup. Medfield hitter was way out in front of that one. Fourth strikeout of the afternoon for Heather Hawley. Molly Glasheen, the third baseman, steps in. There's strike one. Holly painting the corners with that one. That one just inside, one and one. She deals. 2-1, CD uh, trying to make that one uh, look like a strike there, the umpire not buying. Swinging strike, two and two. Look like a drop pitch. Now one upstairs, three and two, full count. Another good battle here by a Medfield hitter. There's been a few of those this afternoon. Machine did walk her last time up, which was actually last inning. And she'll put this one up the middle, gloved by the second baseman, throw to first, is pulled down for the third and final out of the inning. Machine goes four to three, but Medfield does play to run. It is two to one Warriors as we head to the bottom of the fourth. Bottom of the fourth inning, Medfield leading Hopkinton two to one. Four, five, and six do up for the Hillers. The pitcher, Heather Hawley, the left fielder, Lindsey Whittles, and the third baseman, Emma Murphy. As Hawley steps in for her first time since the first inning, she flew out in her only at bat of the game. Potts delivers strike one. Well, Potts has been very solid for Medfield. That's a tough Hillers lineup. Hillers baseball currently leading Medfield as they just got underway. That one just inside one and one. One nothing score up there right now. It is going to be a fun rest of the season watching this Hillers softball and baseball team. Two very talented teams this year. Up the middle it goes, gloved by the second baseman, throw to first, not a problem, one away. Four to three goes Holly. That second baseman is very impressive. She keeps her backside down and nothing's gonna get through her legs. we will bring up Lindsay Whittles, the left fielder. She struck out in her only at bat. And she's had a, the second baseman, uh, Eliza Semino, has had a couple of great plays today for the Warriors. Midfield, infield uh, plays in for some lefties, but back on other lefties. Well, maybe they've done their advanced scouting and seen how often she bunts. 1-0 pitch, 2-0. Potts set the deal. This one is hit in the air. Third base side out of play. It is a souvenir for the fans. I think that souvenir is more for the woods. <laughs> Two and one. She deals. Hit in the air over to left field. Ranging in is the left fielder. It's off her glove and will drop. And Whittles is aboard. Now this. I don't know if you'd call that an error or a hit, but it was off her glove, so I'm gonna rule the error there. Uh, I, I think you ought to be a little bit more charitable it was off a of Hiller's bat, so I'd give her the base hit. That was a tough play. She had to come in on it. That's that's fair enough, fair enough. Emma Murphy now steps in, one out, one on. Hit in the air it's over to the right side, and that one's foul. Just foul, 0-1. She went down there the first time and doubled. 
Jillian Cedia on deck. She had the RBI in the second inning to drive in Murphy. This one is hit up the middle. Yeah. That's gonna drop down into center field. Whittles around second base. Now being waved to third, she'll be stopped at third. It's going to be runners on the corners for the Hillers. A single for Murphy. And that'll bring up Jillian Cedia. Second hard to hit ball of the day for Emma Murphy. And she took a wide turn at first with Watch in the center fielder to see if she threw to third she would have taken off and got second base. Now they may put a play on here and... This one on the ground, first base side. That's gonna get through in the right field. One run in and it's tied up at two. An RBI single for Jillian Cedia, her second RBI of the game as Lindsey Whittles comes around to score the game tying run. A couple of hard hit balls in a row, Tom. Another pinch runner. Yeah, Katie Sylvester back to pinch run for Jillian Cedia for the second time today. Emma Murphy up to second, two on. Still only one out for the Hillers. They Can get they get the rally sticks going? They get a freeze on a line drive, but anything through the infield, that should play Emma Murphy. Coach Soderberg having some words with the designated player coming to the plate, Emma Liberta. One potential here, but so far it's swinging potential as that one's fouled away, 0-1. Oh Pot steals, fouled away, 0-2. Oh A two to two game. And this is the second time today that Medfield has scored on the top of the inning and the Hillers tied it up on the bottom. The question now is, can Hopkinton add more with two on and one out? Hit over to the left side, that's gonna drop in a nice liner and that'll load up the bases as Murphy stopped at third. So a single for Liberta. Sylvester, who's pinch running for Cedia up to second. And Murphy up to third, and Maddie Abbott to the plate with one out still. I'm surprised the Medfield coach hasn't gone out to talk to her pitcher. The bases are juiced. Maddie Abbott grounded out her last time up. Takes one low there. 286 on the season for Maddie. Six for 21 overall. Has scored three runs and driven in four. Emma can get a generous lead down there at third base because the catcher uh, will have a tough time getting around the hitter, right-handed hitter. So anything that skips away, she should make it home. One and one. Big opportunity here. Swinging strike, one and two. She deals, there's strikeout for the second out. I gotta say these girls are a hell of a lot more vocal than the boys are. The boys must have cotton stuffed in their mouth while they're watching their peers play. A yeah. lot of noise on both sides. Yeah, they certainly get into it here, that's for sure. Katie Holly will come up to the plate, bases loaded, two outs, and now an infield discussion among the Menf Medfield Warriors with their head coach, Travis Taliaferro, talking things over. Katie Hawley, 0 for 2 so far today. Big opportunity here with the bases loaded. Hillers have already tied it. It's a 2 to 2 game. Katie Hawley, a sophomore, 455 batting average on the season, 15 for 33 overall. As we are ready. Can Holly put the Hillers ahead? 
just outside, 1-0. I think the midfield coach was just warning a pitcher with a 455 average. Probably throw the ball on the corners. Don't groove one. And that one is just inside, 2-0. Potts has had pretty good command and has avoided any kind of rally so far. Let's see if she can avoid it here. Three and oh. Well, if I'm Holly at this point, you just wait for the ball. You draw the walk, that's a run. Walk's as good as a hit right now. Absolutely. And good eye. She'll get it. Three, two Hillers. Emma Murphy comes around to score. Katie Sylvester is pinch running for Jillian Seedy up to third. Emma Liberta to second, and Katie Holly to first on the walk. Now Julia DiBenedetto to the plate, the second baseman. 0 for 1 today, walked in the first inning and stole a base. She hit the ball last time up to the second baseman. She really scalded it. Another one of those gets through, that may play two. Wind up in the pitch, down low. One and one. She showed a lot of patience her first time up drawing a walk. And I mentioned before, 15 for 30 on the season overall. An even 500 batting average for Benedetto. Two and one. The midfield pitcher is laboring a little bit. Throwing a lot of pitches in this inning. Bases are juiced. Oh yeah, she's had a few battles. Di Benedetto, 515 on base percentage as well. Takes another ball there. Three and one. You have the green light to swing here, you think, uh, Larry, or you wait? If for she the likes it, I think she's swinging. I think so too. Coach Soderberg certainly has faith in her. As this one's up the middle, bobbled by the second baseman, but she picks it up and steps on the bag. And that will do it for the bottom of the fourth. But the Hillers plate two and have their first lead of the game. It is three to two Hopkinton as we head to the top of the fifth. Top half of the fifth inning. A 3-2 Hopkinton Hillers lead now over the Medfield Warriors as the Hillers plate two. And we have a bunt to start off this inning by Katie Zona, followed away 0-1. Hillers played a two in the bottom of the fourth. We'll recap the inning for you. Heather Holly started off with a ground out. Lindsey Whittle singled. Emma Murphy singled. Jillian Cedia singled. As there is ball one, one and one. Emma Liberta then singled to, uh, Jillian Cedia singled, drove in Whittles. And then Emma Liberta singled to reload the bases. Katie Holly walked and that scored a run. As this is hit in the air, popped up in the infield and it is handled by the shortstop Molly Bennett, one away. She was trying to slash hit over the left-hand side. Well, Medfield now down to their final eight outs as Alana Potts, the pitcher, will come to the plate. But they have been uh, pretty effective offensively against Heather Hawley in the previous couple of innings and hoping for another rally here as that one just high, 1-0. Holly delivers, hit in the air right side. It is in foul territory and out of the reach of Rankatori. One and one. Right up in the pitch. That one just inside, two and one. Big matchup for the Hillers tomorrow. Be taking on Norton. Up the middle, or third base side, excuse me, to throw over, no problem. Nice throw across the diamond by Murphy. Five to three goes Potts, two away. Of course, Norton uh, with one of the best pitchers 
in the state. And Kelly Nelson, who's been starting since she was a freshman, now a junior. And just yesterday, Nelson pitched a perfect game and had 20 strikeouts in a Norton victory. That one just inside, so that'll be a great matchup tomorrow between Heather Hawley and Kelly Nelson. Of course, there is rain potential, as there has been just about every day this season. That one just upstairs, one and one. Line up and the pitch. Down low. Cornette, 0 for 2 so far this season. Or in this game, I should say. Line up and the pitch. Swinging strike. And another beauty of a strikeout by Heather Hawley as she gets her groove back in the fifth inning. And as we head to the bottom of the fifth, it's the Hillers leading Medfield 3 to 2. Bottom of the fifth inning, the Hillers will bring up three, four, and five in the batting order. Molly Bennett, Heather Hawley, and Lindsay Whittles. Hillers scored two runs in the bottom of the fourth to take their first lead of the game. A three to two lead now for the Hillers. Midfield held scoreless in the top of the fifth. Molly Bennett steps in 0 for two so far this afternoon. Lana Potts still on the mound for the Warriors. Down low, 1-0. Hopefully the meat of the order can plate a few and give them some breathing room. Potts deals just outside, 2-0. Nice take. Line up in the pitch by Potts, just outside, three and zero. Oh. Well, Potts struggled a little bit finding the plate last inning. We'll see how she does here. There is no warm-up activity for Medfield, so it looks like Potts is going all the way. And Bennett will indeed draw the walk. Four-pitch walk for her. So Heather Hawley comes up with one on, no outs. Holly 0 for 2 so far today. Center fielder shading her to its right center. That one just upstairs, 1 and 0. Potts set to deliver. That one's down low. That's her sixth straight ball. The umpire's been pretty generous with the, the strike zone low. Potts deals. That one upstairs, 3-0. Oh. Well, she is uh, having some control issues right now. If you're the Hillers, you're trying to take advantage of that. I'm wondering if she'll show bunt and try to get a steal out of it, the charging infield. There's a strike, three and one. There goes my theory on that. Well, Holly's certainly holding the swing, trying to draw the walk. And I still hold here, unless it's a very good pitch. And she will swing, that is right at us, just in front of us. And that'll make it three and two. I thought I was gonna have to get my uh, glove out for a second, Larry. Well, you were cowering there for a second. No, I was, see I was getting towards the camera, seeing if I had to move the camera out of the way. I like this job. There's a swinging strike, one away. That'll bring up Lindsay Whittles. And I really don't feel like getting uh, hit by a softball. I, I do have to go on air today. <laughs> well, you might put in a requisition for a new camera. <laughs> the bunt pulled back. Strike one, runner takes off from first. Was she out? No call yet. And they, they're gonna rule her safe, it looks like. Ball fell out of the shortstop's glove, but the batter uh, showed bunt and the hitter the runner took off. The throw was in time, but 
And I didn't see the ball fell out, fall out, so that'll uh, work out for the Hillers. We now have a runner in scoring position with one out. That one's fouled away, 0-2. Put a little pressure on the midfield defense. Line up in the pitch. Down low, gets by the catcher, and that is going to allow Bennett to reach third. A wild pitch there, one and two. So now a runner on third with one out. Big opportunity for security for the Hillers here. The bunt up the middle. The throw to first is in time, but a run is in for the Hillers. A job well done by Whittles. A sacrifice there makes it 4-2 to Hopkinton. That ought to give him a little bit more breathing room. A perfectly executed bunt. Now Emma can go to work with the bases clean. Emma Murphy steps in. There's a strike, 0-1. Hopkins' team has only uh, got five seniors, so they've got a real good future ahead of them. Line up and the pitch. Just low, one and one. Yeah, a lot of good young talent on this Hillers team. Of course, you got Lily Morningstar, who's inactive today, but she's a sophomore, expected back soon. She's been hurt since that Milford game with the collision with the fence, but very talented player. That one's inside. Players will be more than happy to have her back. And another great young player who's uh, inactive today due to sickness is Emily Whalen, who's a sophomore. She had a great freshman year as well, typically their second baseman. And Hillers will certainly be happy when she's back as well. Up the middle, pass Potts. Over to the shortstop, throw to first, no problem. Six to three goes Murphy, but the Hillers do plate another run to add some security. It's 4-2 Hopkinton as we head to the top of the sixth. Top half of the sixth inning, the midfield Warriors down to their final six outs, trailing 4-2. Due up is 4-5 and 6. Elizabeth Cousins, the designated player. Catherine Corzillis, the catcher, and Eliza Semino, the second baseman. Heather Hawley back out there for another inning of work. After having a few struggles in the fourth inning, she was rock solid last inning. And now, with a little bit of comfort provided by the Hillers offense, we'll see how she does in the sixth inning. There's a strike, 0-1. Is there a host of teams vying for second place behind the Hillers? who has first place. All right now Norton is in sole possession of second place as that one's fouled away, 0-2. Norton actually the uh, same record as the Hillers on the season, except Hopkinton does own the tiebreaker since they defeated Norton in their only meeting so far this season. Up the third base side and a nice play by Emma Murphy who got down to one knee to make that catch. One away. And she is rock solid at third base. Good defensive play there. Catherine Corzilla steps in, the catcher. A lot of these juniors will be off on Friday because they have their annual prom. Yeah, no game scheduled for Friday, and they won't schedule one. Uh, they usually try to avoid that day, that one inside, 2-0. and and they don't allow cleats under their prom dresses. I think that's a Hopkinton and only rule. Holly deals up the middle, off the glove of Holly, picked up by the shortstop, and she has no play, so we'll hold on to it. A rare error there. Holly typically makes that play, but that one certainly came at her quite quick. I don't know whether the ball had some spin on it, but I thought if she cut it loose, it might have been a close play at first base. And that, of course, is never an easy play to make. But she's looking at the ball, and I'm not. Up the middle, slow roller picked up by Holly. She has this one, and oh, it was dropped by the first baseman. Everybody's safe. 
That ball tailed the home plate side at first, and there was a collision there. Lead runner, Catherine Corzillis, advanced to third, so now it's runners at the corners with one out. Second error of the inning for the Hillers. Sally Carlin, the left fielder, steps in. Now it's a ball. That was a rare drop by Madison Abbott who typically makes that play at first base. Hit in the air right side and it is right over to the glove of Lily Rankatori. The runner from third will tag and score. So it is back to a one run lead for the Hillers. Rankatori threw behind the runner at first was not off the bag much, just to keep her honest. Two away, a four to three game now in favor of Hopkinton. Eliza Semino remains at first. Ariana Tristani, the right fielder to the plate. There's a strike. Looked like Cedia was gonna pop up and throw down at first base, but she held on to it. She can't afford to throw the ball away and let the runner advance. Now one inside, one and one. And there's a swinging strike. One and two. Good battle going on with the Hopkinton Medfield baseball game. Medfield has taken the lead in the third inning, two to one. That one fouled away, one and two. She was way out in front of that pitch. She's showing good poise out there. She's been in a little bit of trouble, but she's not afraid to use all of her pitches today. Holly deals. Swinging strike, and there's out number three in the top half of the six. But Medfield does play to run, and it is a one run game as we head to the bottom of the sixth. Bottom of the sixth inning, the Hillers coming back up to the plate. It's a 4 3 lead over Medfield. Due up for the Hillers is 7, 8, and 9. Jillian Cedia, the catcher, to start things off, and she has been a star. This afternoon for the Hillers, a pair of RBI singles. She had one in the second and in the fourth. And trying to do some damage here. Two for two on the day. Ball one there, one and oh. Alana Potts remains out there on the mound. After struggling in the fourth, she had a pretty solid fifth. Did give up a run, however. She hit the ball hard last time up. And one inside, two and oh. She deals, fouled away, two and one. With two freshmen uh, on the team, that is an additional bonus for the coach next year with Cedia and Di Benedetto. Yeah, some great young talent coming up through the ranks of the Hillary softball program. Up the first base side, picked up by the first baseman, and little miscommunication there, but they will get the play. Little flip to the second baseman there. One away. Now coming up to the plate for the Hillers, Emma Liberta, the designated player. There's a strike. We got to apply for a K zone, at least for next year. <laughs> Pot steals, just inside, one and one. Boys varsity team is down two to one against Medfield. In the bottom of the third inning now.
swinging strike there, one and two. I think that was foul tipped. Our teammates call her Lib, Emma Liberta. And there's strike three, two away. That'll bring up Maddie Abbott, the first baseman. Now hold on, we might have a pinch hitter here. It appears we do. She gets her ponytail out of the way, we'll be able to get the number. And that is number 18. Thank you. Who is not listed. There's a strike, 0 and 1. It's Kendall Copley at the plate. Her first appearance in this game. Her brother Shane, cross country runner, basketball player. Finishing up his junior year in college. 1 and 1. Two and one. Kendall Copley, a call up from the JV squad. Three and one. Line up and the pitch. Down low, she'll draw the walk. Well, top of the order coming up for the Hillers. Katie Hawley coming up. 0 for 2, she walked in the fourth and then actually walked in a run as well for the Hillers. Put them up 4 to 2 at the time. She's a threat to bunt and Medfield knows that. Up the first base side into right field. That is going to be a base hit. Copley is heading over to third, and it'll be runners on the corners with two outs for the Hillers. That was good aggressive base running by Kendall. So they get first and third here. I'm wondering if they try and uh, entice a throw down a second and get in a pickle. Di Benedetto at the plate. Well, there's two outs. There's a strike. And I think with Di Benedetto and Molly Bennett coming up, you might try to swing away here. Up the middle, and it's gloved by the second baseman. Throw to first, and another good play by the second baseman, Eliza. Semino, and that'll wrap up the bottom of the six. To the seventh we go. Medfield down to their final three outs. It is a 4-3 Hopkinton lead on HCAN. Top half of the seventh inning, the Medfield Warriors will bring up nine one and two hitters to the plate. Molly Glashin, the third baseman. Katie Zona, the center fielder. And Alana Potts, the pitcher, do up. We'll see if they pinch hit for anybody down to their... Final three outs as Heather Hawley going for another complete game. A lot of pressure on these midfield hitters. They got to get on any way they can with three outs remaining. Hawley has six complete games so far this season. Can she get seven? The first pitch of the inning to Glasheen is up high, 1-0. She doesn't want to overthrow and get herself in trouble. No free passes. 2-0. and oh. Holly deals. There's a strike, 2-1. and one. Miller's baseball team has taken the lead over midfield, 4-2. They're going back and forth up there on field number two. 
Up the third base side, throw across is going to be out of the reach of the first baseman, Madison Abbott. And Glasheen is safe on the air and throw. If she was just two inches taller, that would have been in her mitt. She might have got that on a sh short hop. Game tying run on base. Zona Bunts pulls it back, strike one. She's been wanting to lay one down all game. And Emma Kelly is uh, 15 feet down the line. That bunt is fouled, 0 and 2. It's the third Hiller's error of the game. The errors cost him a run last inning. So pinch hitting for uh, Zona. I guess so, they will pinch hit. In the middle of a count. I did not think you could do that. That is a first. Laura Clifford steps in. I had no two count. And she will get a piece of this one, and it's through the reach of the second baseman. That'll get through. Lead runner heading over to third. Runners on the corners with no outs for Medfield. Laura Clifford steps in and hits a single. And now Katie Zona will re-enter the game and head over to first base. Coach Soderberg going to head over to the pitcher's circle and talk to Heather Hawley. I'm not a fan of that rule at all. Pinch hitting in the middle of a count. Well, that's legal, and he must have known something that we don't know, but are they gonna throw down should the runner take off? Or are they gonna try and cut the ball off to either the shortstop or the second baseman and throw home? So they've got some. Well, some plays good. available to them. Some good uh, strategic coaching here by the Medfield Warriors and Coach Taliaferro. There's a ball, and the runner taking off from first. They throw down, they got her, but the tying run scores from Edfield. They fell for it. Lachine scores, and Zona thrown out, one away, but it pays off for the Warriors, a 4-4 game. Well, they, was, they had speed on the base pass, so once the runner saw that. Over to short, throw to first, they got her. Ball go through. She headed home, made it easily. Not even getting a throw. Two outs, Rachel Cornett, the first baseman to the plate. There's a strike, 0 and 1. Medfield putting on a quite a game here against the Hillers. Tying things up in the top of the seventh. It's been quite a showdown here. One and one. See, just holding the ball there. And she the heals. Up the middle, slow roller picked up by Holly. Throw to first off the mark. Off the glove of Abbott it goes and everybody's safe. So Cornette reaches on the error. Two big girls there, it looked like a train wreck. That error I'm putting on Abbott, that, was, that throw was right to her. That's fouled away. So one on, two outs. Game tied at four, top of the seventh. Second error of the inning by the Hillers, fourth of the game. Checking at first, runner back safely. Good throw down the line by Cedia. One and one. Up the middle, and that is going to be fielded by Holly. Throw to first, she got her. One to three goes Cousins. 
and that'll wrap up the top half of the seventh. But Medfield manages to tie things up at four apiece. To the bottom of the inning we go on HCAM. Hillers will bat in the bottom of the seventh as the Medfield Warriors tie things up in the top of the inning. They score a run and take advantage of a couple of errors by the Hillers. It's now four to four. Three, four, and five due up for the Hillers. Molly Bennett steps in the shortstop and takes one outside, one and oh. Alana Potts still out there for the Warriors. Pot steals upstairs. No pressure on her. She's just got to meet the ball and find some open space. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad bringing you Hopkinton Hillers softball on H cam as there's a strike. Bottom of the seventh, four to four. Hillers and Medfield tied up. If the ball is hit up to the right side in the air, I think it's going to be problematic. There's the 2-2. Inside, full count. Second baseman, center fielder, and right fielder are right in the way of the sun. The decisive pitch. And she will get the walk. Redfield fans did not like that call. Lead hitter on. In the bottom of the seventh for the Hillers, Molly Bennett racking up the walk. That's her second walk of the game. She scored a run off her walk in the fifth. And now you have Heather Hawley coming to the plate. She's 0 for 3 at bat today. Coach had a little conference with her up there. I wonder if they're going to put the bunt play on. Or show bunt and grab a steal. Very possible. Inside, 1-0. and oh. And actually, I think he called that one a strike. 0-1. Oh Bennett ready to take off from first. Upstairs, 1-1. One and one. Lindsey Whittles due up on deck. Fouled away, one and two. I thought she was going on that last pitch for Holly. Just upstairs, throw down to first, runner back safe. Two and two. Holly's way up in the batter's box again. She feels confident she's not going to get a ball by her. Up the middle, glove by the second baseman, throw to second for one, and that's all they'll get. But another great defensive play by Eliza Samino. To four or five of those today. She's unbelievable. So Holly reaches on the four to six force out. I think we may have a pinch runner, we'll see. One away though, and one on, Lindsey Whittle's coming up. And Coach Soderberg's arguing something over there. He wants a runner. Okay, he's getting a pinch runner out there for Holly. And coming into pinch run will be Christina Weldon. Who's a junior. Holly can take a seat if just in case she has to go out for the eighth inning. Lindsay Whittles stepping in the batter's box. One for three today. Actually, excuse me, one for two. She had a sacrifice grounder, which scored a run in the fifth. And before that, in the fourth, she had a single and ended up scoring a run. The run in the fifth is would put the Hillers up four to two at the time. And we're gonna have a pitcher circle conference with the Medfield infielders as Coach Soderberg talking to the umpire about the pinch runner. Now a 
This has been quite the battle between two very good teams in the TVL, the Medfield Warriors and the Hopkinton Hillers. Can the Hillers walk off? Four to four, bottom of the seventh, one out, one on. Whittles at the plate. Hit in the air, over to right field, and that is gone! A walk-off home run for the Hopkinton Hillers! Lindsey Whittles goes yard, and the Hillers take the game six to four. She ever cleaned that one out. Wow! That was out on the crack of the bat. That was an unbelievable display of power by Lindsey Whittles, and what a way to take the victory for the Hopkinton Hillers. A six to four win. Lindsey Whittles powers it out of the ballpark. The two run blast, which ends up scoring Christina Weldon who was pinch running for Heather Holly. And you cannot ask for a better ending than that. Medfield ties it in the top of the seventh, but the Hillers get the job done and take the victory six to four. We'll take a timeout, come back and wrap this game up. It's Hiller softball on HK. The Hopkinton Hillers defeat the Medfield Warriors six to four by way of the walk-off. A two run home run by Lindsey Whittles drives in Kristen Weldon who was pinch running for Heather Hawley and the Hopkinton Hillers get the job done Quite a back and forth game we saw here this afternoon. Top of the second, Medfield takes a one nothing lead. An RBI triple by Allie Carlin scores Eliza Semino. Hillers respond in the bottom of the second. An RBI single by Jillian Cedia scores Emma Murphy. And then the next run would be scored by Medfield in the top of the fourth. An RBI double by Eliza Semino scores Liz Cousins. That makes it 2-1 Medfield. Hopkinton responds in the bottom of the fourth with two runs of their own with two on, one out, Jillian Cedia hits an RBI single, and then Katie Holly with the bases loaded ended up drawing the walk, and that put the Hillers on top at the time, three to two. Hopkinton added on to their lead in the bottom half of the fifth as Molly Bennett would score on a sacrifice ground out by Lindsey Whittles, and that would make it four to two Hillers. Medfield scored a run in the top of the sixth. They took advantage of a couple Hillers errors, and Allie Carlin had a sacrifice RBI fly out to drive in the catcher, Catherine Corzillis, and that would make it four to three, and then Medfield would score another run in the top of the seventh after a, another couple of Hillers errors. Molly Glasheen ended up scoring on a error trying to throw out Rachel Cornett, who took off from first trying to steal, and Glasheen took off from third and ended up scoring the game tying run. But on the bottom of the seventh, with one out, Lindsey Whittles comes to the plate and smacks a two run homer right out of the ballpark, past the right field fence, and Hopkinton walks off with the six to four victory. Medfield scores four runs and had four hits, no errors. The Hillers, six runs on eight hits and four errors. Heather Hawley is the winning pitcher and Alana Potts the losing pitcher, but a great battle between these two very good TVL teams, the Hopkinton Hillers and the Medfield Warriors. The Hillers now 11-1 overall on the season, 9-0 in the TVL. Medfield is 7-6 overall, 6-6 six six in the TVL. For Larry Sacklad, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers softball on HCAM. The final score for the final time, the Hopkinton Hillers defeat the Medfield Warriors by way of the walk off a two run homer by Lindsey Whittles gives the Hillers the 6-4 victory over Medfield. We thank you for watching this presentation of Hopkinton Hillers softball on HCAM. Enjoy the rest of your day and we'll talk to you soon, ladies and gentlemen.